All right. Shalom. Shalom. We start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, break a thumb to the whole palette. Shalom, Shalom. We two brothers here at the Great Millstone, Kansas City Church, the brother Taziar Banyamian. Brother Yarab and Yahweh. Kind, kind. And, uh, hey, Shabbat Shalom. Actually, he knows for Shabbat today and. You know, me and the brother had got together, you know, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahshah for letting us get together. Um, you know, before this lesson, you know, this brother, he ain't really seen the movie Bushwick. Uh, so we just watched, you know, the first, you know, part of that movie. You know, if brothers haven't watched that movie Bushwick, uh, definitely would. You know, yeah, last week yeah. at camp, last week at camp, we was, you know, basically listing, you know, movies that relate to the theme of Jacob's Trouble. Mm -hmm. which is a theme of seditions, which is a theme of all out hell and chaos mm -hmm. that's about to uh, come upon this world. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing that, you know, I like about the movie is that it doesn't hesitate to get into the action, man. Yep. You know, because before, I mean, if y'all haven't seen it, we're going to throw spoilers because the movie came out in 2017. So brother should have been seen it by now. But if you ain't seen it, you know, it starts off with a chick and a, and, 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 you know, I wouldn't call him a man, a chick and a and a male. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. basically, they 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 run into a Jacob's trouble scenario, man. Mm -hmm. They run into a scenario where it's all hell and chaos broken loose, and life as they know it is basically over with. And this mm -hmm. this is this is the theme that we're going with in this lesson. Is you know when the scriptures say it'll it shall come as a thief in the night, man. Mm -hmm. Because even though us as the prophets. You know, all hell, all all hell breaking loose and mass calamity is something that we've been looking for for years on to come. These people don't expect that on the day to day. Right. right. These people, these people don't have that in the forefront of their mind. So when mm -hmm. Jacob's trouble arises, it's going to catch a lot of people off guard. And guess what? A lot of people are going to get killed in that surprise, man. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's right. I was getting started. It's First Thessalonians chapter five verse 1 but but of the times and the seasons brethren you have no need that I write unto you for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord Yahweh so cometh as a thief in the night mm -hmm. for when they shall for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape and break it down. you know so that's pretty self-explanatory. This is how the Lord wants it. He wants the element of surprise. Even if he got to manually put somebody to sleep, <laughs> like he's done to these people, because all of the signs really are here. You know, World War Three is here. You know, inflation constantly going up. People got less less money. They're getting more irritable. You know, it should be plain and simple to these people, but they don't see it because the Lord the Lord blinded them, man. You yeah. know, with, with things. You know, with comforts. Yep. You know. Yep. Can you read that one more time? Verse uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. See, when they say, they shall say, peace and safety, man. Mm -hmm. They. <laughs> yeah, the world. And that's, and that's why, you know, we tell brothers, don't be invested in this place. Mm -hmm. Five year plan, 10 year plan, 15 year plan. Mm -hmm. That's the idea of peace and safety. Because yeah. in order to have that, you have to have a mentality of saying that this system is going to hold up. Right, right. These, everything that I have, the grocery store, the police, all these securities that I have is going to hold up for this X amount of time so I can do X, Y, and Z, man. Mm -hmm. But as we, as we watched in the movie Bushwick, it was a quote unquote invasion, man. Right. So right. everything, everything was thrown off course. Yep. All the, all the, all the securities, all the assurances was gone, man. Mm -hmm. Now it's just who, you know, because we, ain't, we ain't gonna bring the movies, to, but as far as in a real life scenario, it boils down to who got the Lord on their side, man. Yep. That's, That's what it's gonna boil down to. That's exactly right. And that that analogy the scriptures use, travail upon a woman is perfect because the woman knows that she's pregnant. So they, these, like these people know, 
that they can feel it in their spirit is going it's going to end but they don't know exactly when they don't know how and that's how a pregnancy is the woman knows the baby is coming eventually but she doesn't know the, the minute and the moment in time where she going her water's going to break <laughs> and that baby's on the way you know and that's that's how the lord wants it man because these people are not going to be able to say i didn't know you know they're not they're not going to be able to say oh i'm a, I'm, a, I'm a good person and you know, I donate to charity and I, I help niggas out at the prison. <laughs> like, no, the Lord is not the Lord is not hearing that, man. Yes. You know, none of th this is this is the time of judgment, the time of judgment. Yes. All right. This is the culmination of the Lord's anger, his wrath, his judgment. You know, you see the the, the day the Lord described, it's not it's not described like a picnic, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's associated with darkness, gloominess, vengeance, wrath. Okay? Yeah. Destruction. Yeah. Well let's get into it. Let's you got one? Uh, you got a little bit more. A little bit more on this. Yeah, Verse four it says, "But ye brethren are not in darkness, that the day should take, should overtake you as a thief." Right. All right. Mm -hmm. You got. It. So this number one, this is proof that the Thessalonians were not just Greeks; they were a specific group of men. <laughs> you separated yourself from it, but we're also we are special, man. If you got this word, you have this truth and this understanding, and the Lord has that that spirit of wisdom on you. Then you were you are isolated from these things that are that are uh, that we watched in this movie, you yeah. know, and are to come. Kind, because it say you brethren are not in darkness, so that day doesn't take you as a thief. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? That means that we understand. First of all, we understand what the Bible says, and we understand where we are at in this current day and age. Right. So right. therefore, having those two understandings, we can. We can put a spiritual image in our mind on how the world is going to be ran and mm -hmm. how the world is going to turn out. Yeah. You see, because people think Donald Trump getting back in office is 2016 again, man. It ain't 2016. Yeah. Right. It's about to get worse. That's right. And we and we praying that these uh, th this martial law comes mm -hmm. and we praying that uh, mass calamities and seditions happen here in America, man. Yeah. Because that's what they say in the movie. They say, you know what? Martial law has been declared. Right. And it basically came out of nowhere. Because in one minute, she, they, she's holding hands with her boyfriend in the subway. Yeah. The next thing you know, the nigga, you know, nigga look like Freddy Krueger all of a yeah, sudden, yeah, man. Yeah. In seconds. Right. You know? Right. And, and that's how that's how the Lord gets... That's how this thing is coming, man. Yep. All right? And, and, you know, watching this movie, you know, through the spiritual eye, it really give, it gave me a lot of hope, honestly, because... The way, you could see it now, you know, like three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, you know, we still had like a lot of questions, you know, about details of things. But like now it's like you can clearly see how the Lord got this thing set up, man. We were yep. not talking about these millions of migrants five years ago. Yep. <laughs> All right. We were not seeing th this much uh, geopolitical tension five years ago. Yep. You know, so the Lord, the Lord got this thing honed down to where the, the prophecies are getting ready to leap off the page, man. Kind, kind, and it and it and it showed, you know, on a on a spiritual level, cause we don't, we ain't watched the whole movie, cause we if brothers ain't seen it, it get into some ship shit, but on the on like the first hour of the movie, it shows how you gonna need the spirit of the Lord to maneuver. Yeah. Cause remember when they was on the roof, they said how are we how are we gonna go through? They said block by block. Batista right, right. said block by block. We gotta make it block by block. Right. But each time, each block they hit, it's 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 a it's a gun battle. Mm -hmm. Niggas dying, niggas right. shooting, right. shooting at right. you. Yeah. But yeah. that's how you need the spirit of the Lord to be to be able to to duck right. to duck in between jams, man. Yeah. Because you're gonna be surrounded. You're gonna be surrounded around hell, man. Yeah. And this this is what we try to tell you, brothers, man. Right. And, and ain't no amount of military training gonna get you out of yes. it, man, because yes. this is not a real this is not like a battlefield where you got everything scoped out, man. You know, you play Call of Duty. There's a reason they hate campers. Yeah. <laughs> because you can't you can't account for that, man. A nigga yep. just sitting in the corner waiting. Yep. That's how it's going to be, man. It ain't going to be the enemy right in front of you there. there. All that training shit going to go out the window. You're going to literally need the Lord, man. Yep. You know? And th and this is why we, we we get on everybody so bad, man. Right. You know? We not... we, we This is an act of love despite how you... Uh, have issues with our speech or our choice of words. Mm -hmm. When y'all see what's getting ready to happen, you gonna understand. Okay. Kind of. You know? Kind of. Go ahead. Uh, this is Matthew. After that, get Amos 5. Oh, yeah. so lucky, buddy. No, no, you got it. You got it. Read what you got. This is Matthew 24, 37. But as the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of man be. 
the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. All right. And the reason I brought that out, because this guy, this guy, Trump, um, you know, the reason that that this movie makes me think that this could, this could be the year coming up that it's happening is because this guy, Trump, is promising bold things, man. Bold things. They got yeah. these Americans back in this spirit of prosperity, and we're going to win. And you know what? I ain't going to lie. It sound good. Yeah. But if you know what I know, you already <laughs> you already know what the deal is. So I could, I could actually see the early part of 2025, people getting back in that turn-up spirit, mm -hmm. you know? But these migrants are still here, you know? So I, I could easily see these people getting laxed again. Yeah. You know, going getting low because right now people are still a little bit on edge. You know, they still got, you know, credit card bills and all of this bullshit. You know, Trump might just be that that give him that, that little bit of economic relief right before the Lord just turn the lights out on this place. Yeah. You know? That's right. That's right. Because you you speaking on Trump and the condition of this world, you know, on the on the right hand of politics, you have these ultra conservatives that feel like they gotta win. Mm -hmm. And these ultra conservatives, guess what? They racist. Yeah. So now yeah. they feel like they're in a, they are in an environment where hate is okay. Right. Right. And, and we we ain't against that because we hate y'all motherfuckers too. Yeah. We ain't gonna say you wrong for hating. Yeah. You know. But but during these past four years, there's they was in a position saying, oh, we gotta bottle this up because we gonna get ridiculed because we had a more liberal. Uh, administration. Mm -hmm. So now, now that the liberal administration brought all these migrants, all these niggas that you don't fuck with, mm -hmm. you know, Northern Kingdom, even member, members of the Southern Kingdom, yeah. all these new people coming to America, now that hate is okay, guess what? What that mean? Open season on niggas. Man. Yeah, absolutely. And Trump already, uh, already cleared the uh, qualified immunity for all of the cops. Yep. Qualified immunity means, you know, it's just an insurance policy. Oh, you killed a nigga? Oh, okay. Yeah. File an insurance claim. Yeah. You off. Claim you number, even, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you don't even get charged <laughs> with nothing. You know, you don't even get charged. Your incident report. Yeah, incident report. Paperwork. That's it, nigga. You know, that's that's what that's what's set up for this place. Trump is talking about building new cities, man. Yeah. Like new cities, like on the level of San Francisco. He's like, the government owns a third of the land in America. We're going to make new cities. So, so there, these people are getting back in that spirit of, of being emboldened, but this is all the Lord's plan. Kind. You know? Kind. And that, and that sedition is what's going to drive a lot of people fucking crazy, man. That's right. And that, once again, if y'all ain't seen the movie, we're going to spoil it, man. And that movie Bushwick, really, all the, all the troops came to New York because Texas had seceded from the uh, United States. Yeah. And so they caused an invasion. Mm -hmm. But where do you also see that? You also see that... In the uh, in the Civil War movie, mm -hmm. the Civil yep. War movie that came yep. out this year, yep. well, and you also forces. and you also <laughs> see that in the first Purge movie, man, where they where the new administration gets in and starts to kill kill the uh, lower class. But guess what? In all three of these movies, the topic is you Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all are always the targets in these movies, man. That's right. Because the rest of you heathen are just collateral damage. Esau will, will scorch earth. Fuck up a lot of his own people just to get to, just to get to Jake, man. Yep. You know, okay. and, and that's the spirit the Lord had the people in before the flood. Noah was out there preaching. You know, going in, and they what did they do? They ignored him. So he put a spirit of mirth on them, and then he flooded their ass, man. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the Lord, because that once again we're gonna bring it to the beginning of that movie. That's read read that one more time. Kind okay. verse Matthew twenty four. And 38, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Okay, so listen, that's eating and drinking, marrying and giving into marriage. There's a spirit behind that. Mm -hmm. You have a more carefree spirit. You're mm -hmm. not really, you know, having that sense of intensity of preparing what's to come. You more of like, how can I get my dick wet? Right, right. How can I have a good time? How can I turn up? Yeah, yeah. How can I, how can I fuck with these hoes? How can I live my best life? 
Right. You see what I'm saying? All, eating and drinking, marrying and giving unto marriage, that comes with a spirit. Yeah. That's opposite of the spirit that you're supposed to be in. Mm -hmm. So when we read the, when we watch the beginning of that movie, what was they, what, what was they talking about? Oh, I got to want you to come to my parents' house. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they kissing each other on the subway, all that lovey-dovey shit. Right, right. But guess what? All that lovey-dovey shit got them killed in that movie, man. Right, right. Now, yeah. that's not saying that, you know, brothers got women, you can't be affectionate with your women. But mm -hmm. don't get caught up in that shit, man, because this right. shit about to end. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the lot of being a watchman, man. You were always alert to some degree. You got moments where you know you're a little bit more relaxed, but you you you're not walking around just aloof. Right. Like, what's going on? Your woman leading you. Let's right. go this way. Like, no, man. Right. <laughs> that's that's why the spirit of the Lord is important, because even if we end the pussy. Mm -hmm. We still gonna remember what the fuck coming on, man. Right, right. That's right, man. <laughs> Even if we drunk off eight shots of tequila on a night, we still gonna remember what the fuck about to happen to this place, That's man. Right, we man. don't keep that. We don't, you know, we don't let this folly in this world, you know, distract us from what's really about to come here in prophecy, man. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Because the Lord, the Lord prefers his his sacrifice full. You know, the scriptures say, make fat the rams. That that symbolizes you be you thinking that you're in good case. You're full of pride. Your pump your pump is up here, you know, because it says it here, Job twenty and twenty three. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So he puts you in the spirit of marrying and giving in marriage, eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, because that that represents you people getting full of yourselves, man. You don't have any kind of morals or, or, or moral foundation besides what makes you feel good. And so the Lord going to let you feel that all the way up to the top and he's going to rain judgment on you. That's right. You know? And when he rains judgment on you, you're not going to have no remedy. Yeah, yeah. You don't know the name of the Lord. And if you do know the name of the Lord, you don't hope and believe that that's capable of saving you, man. That's right. This is why we so adamant about brothers taking this truth serious. That's why we so adamant about going out to the highways and byways, because that's a requirement. Doing lessons, that's a requirement. Mm -hmm. Being upright with brothers, that's a requirement, man. Yeah. All this work that we put in now, watch how this shit pay off, man. Man. <laughs> you know? Watch, 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 watch these Jacob Trouble movies, man. Yeah. And put yourself in these shoes and, 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 and imagine yourself in that, man. Right. You know? That's right, brother. You got something? I go to the Amos. Yeah, get the Amos five, and we gonna wrap it up. We ain't gonna make this too long. Kind of. This is Amos chapter five, uh, and I start at verse eighteen. Yeah, it says, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord Jehovah! To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord Jehovah is darkness and not light, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, mm. or went into the house." And leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Mm -hmm. Shall not the day of the Lord Jehovah be darkness and not light? Right, exactly. Hmm? And these and these circumstances, once again, these are also a common theme in these movies. That's yeah. that's why the apostles been saying that a lot of these producers get their inspiration from the scriptures. Mm -hmm. He say he ran into a read that part again. It says. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Yeah. Or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Right. You run into a bear, that's certain death. Mm -hmm. A hungry bear, that's yeah, certain yeah. death. You run into a hungry lion, that's certain death, man. Yeah. You yeah. run into a hungry snake, that's certain death, man. Right. So right. that that is describing that all these hell and mass calamities are going to surround you. Yeah. What the scriptures say, they're going to end in, encompass you, man. Right, right. Now, just because we have that understanding that all hell breaking loose is going to be around us, because me, you know, this, hey, you know, brother in my new spot, I'm surrounded around niggas. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, niggas everywhere you go, it's, right too. Yeah. It's niggas around, okay? So that means it's going to be hell and bullshit around. Oh, but yeah. having that understanding, we don't fear, man. Yeah. Because we know that we do the right things when it when it comes to Yahweh Bashim Shah to escape. Mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? To escape, to be able to walk through. Mm -hmm. When Yahweh Shah said that there's gonna be men that enter into the kingdom of heaven without a hair that fall on their head, 
and you watch movies like that, man. What type of protection you gonna have, man? Yeah, that bitch lost her finger. <laughs> <laughs> on bullshit. On bullshit. <laughs> Lord, you clip your ass just like that. <laughs> and you know what? That 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 analogy is spiritual too, because you know the lion didn't get him, the bear didn't get him. Yeah. You know, so the Lord is also showing that yeah. he's going to judge you according to what he wants. Yeah. If he doesn't want the bear to get you, he may want you to get bit by the serpent mm -hmm. or he may want the lion to get you. Yeah. You know, those these things are representative of 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 uh mischiefs that the Lord is going to have all out in the earth and but it's tailor made, man. That's why every person that wronged you, the Lord got their ass, man. Yes. Like the brother said earlier, you know, watch how this pay off. Watch how this pay off for the people that offended us, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, we're going to get a payoff by, by the Lord allowing us to see this and not touch us. But they're going to get it as well, too, man. All right. And they're going to know that it's the Lord. Yeah. You know, it's true. Keep going up. Um, so lock it. Uh, it says. Shall not the day of the Lord Jehovah be darkness and not light, even very dark. And no brightness in it. Right. And that and that that's really speaking like on a level to where you ain't got no hope. Mm -hmm. You don't have no confidence. You don't you don't have any any things. Speaking to people in the world, you don't have any things to give you give you, like I say, hope to where you can make it out of this. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, you run into a hungry bear and you ain't got nowhere to mm -hmm. go. That's certain death, man. Mm -hmm. So a lot of you people are going to end up in hopeless situations. Some niggas think, oh, as, as long as long as I, as long as I hit, as long as I hit the right lick, I'm gonna be all right. Right. As long right. as I sell this right. this this key of coke, I'm gonna be all right. As long as I make this bitch sell her pussy and whatever it is, you know, street nigga shit, man. Yeah, carnal yeah. shit. You you people rely on this carnal shit to to give yourself hope for the future, but. All right. All that shit gonna be shut down. You ain't gonna be no crypto dealer, <laughs> right? You know, right, yeah. you ain't gonna be no hair weave eyelash tech to make it out of this, man. Yeah, yeah. Only thing you 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 absolutely have to have is the names of your how about shot to make it out of these calamities. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, niggas that that got gold, you know, they gonna be thinking about that. Oh yeah, yeah I got yeah, some yeah. gold and this yeah. shit blow over. Yeah, I'm gonna be good. I'm too rich for this. I'm too rich for this. <laughs> I'm too no. rich for this hell. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Yeah. It says, verse 21, I hate and despise your feast days and will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Right. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. So the Lord is not hearing you. You like that Keisha was down there slumped in the hallway? You know, she probably was crying, Lord, Jesus, all kind of. The Lord ain't hearing none of that, man. Yeah. All right. It says, verse 23, thou... Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials, but let judgment run down as water <laughs> and righteousness as a mighty stream. Right. So when rain comes on a certain area, everything gets touched, man. Yeah. So when it say let judgment come down as waters, yeah. this is what we about to experience. That's right, man. Yeah. How many brothers can go out in the rain and, and, and dodge all the raindrops yeah, yeah. and not get not get wet? <laughs> Hell no. Nope. You know? And that's how that's how judgment's gonna come, man. Right. It's gonna you're gonna have a little bit of a glimmer of hope and it's gonna slowly just fade out to hopelessness. Yeah. And it's gonna get worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. I get this last one. Yeah, go ahead. Psalms ninety-one, verse three. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So this is not carnal, okay? You're not you're not getting a, a plate carrier with with with, uh, with a drum, a drum clip. All right, that ain't that ain't our means of getting out of here. That's right. It says, "Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday." A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. You know, the Lord promised us that, man. And you got to have faith that that's going to happen, man. These people, they're going to panic and do something stupid like that white bitch did. She saw a nigga trying to get, she, she shot him and yeah. he lost a finger. You get it, off of him. It, 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 one mistake can get your ass clipped, man. Yeah. That's why you got to be locked into the spirit, man, and take this thing serious. That's right. 
you know? And one thing I'm gonna say before we wrap it up is that you women not gonna do as well as you think you are. <laughs> All right? Cause this, no. these metropolitan areas, these big cities, they got you thinking it's okay to be out by yourself. Right, right. At night. Right. All right? Yeah. You're going to realize that's not the case. That's yeah. not how real life operates, man. Yeah. Real yeah. life operates with you being under a man. That's why the that's right. uh, brother Mahalaya did this uh, video this week about the nigga woman saying, I, I need to be under a man. Right. And the Lord put that spirit on her to have that realization. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So we always, brothers want to scoff us talking about, Oh man, all y'all talk about is obviously a four and one. These brothers talk about having three wives. Well, it's a necessity, man. Yeah. It ain't it ain't just because brothers want to get their dick wet. Cause I'm gonna be over. We already doing that already. Right. So right. sex is the last thing on our mind. Right. It's a matter of these women realizing that they ain't got no protection, man. Right. And they gonna need men. Yeah. All right. That's, That's why right. I did that video earlier this week about brothers don't get wooed off this female attention mm -hmm. because you know we just. Watch this movie Bushwick. This bitch was two seconds away from getting Deuteronomy twenty two, man. Yeah, Easily. Yeah. It's All right. Proud. Easily. Yep. You know? But the more the, the moral of this lesson is, brothers, watch watch these spiritual movies. Watch these Jacob Trouble movies. Put yourself in these positions. Keep this imagery in the forefront of your mind because guess what? These things are we about to enter into real life. Right. Real life. That's but right. with that, uh, Lord Williams video ever fine, all praises, honor, and glory. It goes, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatham, Soul, Fulak, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.